I've been getting a lot of questions about daily memory training and where to do it and how to do it. So I thought I might share with you a bit of my practice for today. Uh, I train a lot on a place called Memory League, a site called Memory League. I'm not affiliated with it, but it's an awesome place. A lot of memory athletes train there along with other people who are just trying to improve it using memory techniques and get a faster memory. Uh, images is a really good place to start. So there's a lot of different types of things that you can memorize quickly on Memory League. But images is an awesome way to get into using the site and understand how it all works because it really only needs you to know really one main memory technique, which is how to use a memory palace. Uh, if you don't know how to use one, it's pretty easy. Uh, just go and have a look at one of my other simple videos or blogs on it, and then you can get going on that as well. For those of you who do know what a memory palace is and how to use it, we basically get a certain amount of images that we have to memorize in a 60 second period. So in Memory League, you, you progress up three levels and when you get to the top level, it's level 10. We have to remember 30 images in a 60 second period. And then once you reach that, you're trying to do it in less seconds. So I sit normally somewhere around the 30 second mark for the 30 images uh, and we'll have a look at that together. You don't put one image per location. Uh, you actually put a, a, a number of images per location. Some people put three, four. I put five on a location, but they're not all just lumped on the location. They're actually kind of like a little mini memory pass on each location. Uh, that will make sense in a second once you see the, um, the training session. So let's just jump in. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of training and then there's a couple of things I just wanna point out afterwards. So on location one, I had a frog who was sniffing into flowers and up behind were sprouting up these asparagus spears. Someone um, threw beans over the top of it and then this moon was off to the distance on the side and then moved to a new location and I saw this little cat jumped into this green cake. Uh, it stuck its head up and then it's watching TV. These horses ran past it on its right hand side and on the left overhead was someone flying a kite. To the next location I saw a fire, someone threw rocks in stub to melt. Um, kind of behind that location I saw this um, this scene here uh, and then sort of to the left of it I saw this building and this animal was charging towards this, this thing here. Um, new location, ocean, uh, next to it, these people walking sort of in, through the ocean, um, barring their way was this bridge. Someone was taking a photo and then they got walked over the head with this thing. I think it's a Christmas decoration now. Next location, there was a mushroom. Just next to the mushroom were these presents. When the presents got unwrapped, they were cakes. Then I saw, oh, they weren't cakes, they were lettuce. And it was actually the lion who was looking at all of that and who went, oh, it's not a cake, it's a lettuce. 
Um, next location, there was a bird looking at its spot, which was reserved. It had white flowers for the partner that it was meeting who um, rocked up in a van. And then, uh, unfortunately, to spoil this romantic setting, there was pollution. And that's how I remembered those. So hopefully you can see from that uh, how it's fun and straightforward to work on improving your focus and improving on using memory techniques in the memory palace in order to remember information quickly. Uh, you'll note that um, the images really were in a little mini memory palace on each location. So each location had five images, but they weren't just all on top of each other. It was like uh, I started off seeing the frog and then in front of the frog was the flower and then behind the flower, the asparagus grew up and then the beans got poured on top. So you can see this little pathway and a little story happening in this one location. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're having a go for yourself. Um, you also wanna keep in mind that um, while it might feel like this isn't something that you can get better and better at, you can. So basically you get more proficient at using memory palaces. When you start out, it can be a bit clunky and you'll slowly start to work out what works for you and what doesn't. But you're also practicing some of the skills that you would need for remembering more complex information like text or, or words or numbers, things like that. You're playing with how quickly you can visualize something and be creative with something else that comes along. So I encourage you to give it a go. Um, let me know how you go. I'll be doing a series of these videos as well. So I'm gonna try and put up some other disciplines and some other little tips about daily training so that you can follow along and get into a program of your own. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please do so. And that way you'll know when my new videos come out.